Our draft Woo. begins. Ali Bobo, Nouns Esports, your grand finals. <laughs> this is often where a game can be won and lost. These teams have been drafting and banning meticulously all day long. I don't expect it to change, but there's going to be some fun dynamics at work between these two squads right here. You're absolutely right. There are some big things that can happen in these drafts. Interestingly enough, Tally Bobo says, we don't want to deal with this Dodrio from Gotlu. We've been watching it, and we know it's an absolute menace right here. Hoopa being banned out by Nouns Esports. And now Tally Bobo with their first pick, and of course, they're grabbing the Espeon. Yeah, they've got a great opportunity to take the Slowbro out of Megu's hands as well as Nouns Esports. That might be a place they want to go. Bruv looked great on it previous to get them to these grand finals, but Bruv says, give me the treat. Here we go. Bruv on the Trevenant. Sixies picking up the Mew right here as we head into our next picks here for Tally Bobo Believers. As you were mentioning, you know, a lot can happen inside this draft boat. You've seen teams absolutely break down here and start making some very questionable picks that don't really work for their uh, their squad. Right now, we're seeing both these teams play to their comfort zone. Megu on that slow bro service. We've got the Eldegoss on the side of Tally Bobo. Eldegoss, such a force today. Absolutely. What I'm seeing here is players locking in phenomenal picks that they're also kind of known for which means not only is the play going to be top tier, it's elevated because a lot of these players are getting their pocket picks, the things they're comfortable with, and we're going to just be able to see them bang it out with pure skill. Here we got Toon Slim locking in that Delphox. We have Klaus locking in that Lucario. Gee's the final pick here for Nouns Esports. Look at Gee's eyeing up that Blissey. We haven't seen it too much this weekend but this might be the opportunity for it to shine here in this particular composition. That's right, Blissey actually a lot more popular in North America than it is here in EU, but we're gonna see what they can do with it here today in game number one. Hopefully plenty of work. Toon Slim locking in that last pick, Del Fox. We kind of mentioned it a little bit during the group stages. Should on paper theoretically be very good into the Trevenant, we're gonna see it come to fruition here in a player with the skill level of Toon Slim. Yeah, it's gonna be really interesting to see. I've not seen a lot of Toon Slim's Delphox, but like you said, I mean, I'm, I would not be surprised if it was pretty incredible right here. Lunderu on that Espeon. Espeon is just a force to be reckoned with. If that Pokemon is not shut down, every objective is in question if it's around. Stitching your name into the Pokemon Unite history books, even better. Here we go. Game one, Tally Bobo Believers. Nouns Esports. Nouns Esports coming from your losers bracket. So they have to beat Tally Bobo Believers in two brackets here. They have to beat them three games. They have to reset this thing and do it again in another best of five if they want to take home that hardware. I'll tell you what, Sprague, let's give me 10 games. Give me 10 games Give me to settle out. Games. Give me a thousand games between these two teams. Gatlu getting low, getting tons of pressure on them. Good by Klaus to get that quick KO on the Kupfu. We know it's a little weak early, and it certainly looked it there. Klaus and Zervis are just an absolute force in this top path. We see them pick up a lot of KOs like that. I think people people have forgotten how dominant Lucario is. And then, I mean, we just have the most mean early game Pokemon in this Eldegoss. Did you see that little step in by Zervis to take the bullets there from uh, uh, Daisu to make sure that Klaus does not go down early. Toon getting in 14 here? Are they going to be able to get out? That's the big question mark. Zervis pulling up. They're just a gossip. They're trying to put the pressure on the other way. They tried to leash it. That's a big KO into the hands of Adesu. As now they're reeling back and they get to their goal zone. Good spacing by Geese allows Adesu to get through these birds, which historically has a pretty tough time. And Galu finally takes over to level 5. Bold play there by Toon. I got to say, that feels like something that might happen in solo queue. But you're going to try to do that into the face of Nouns Esports? You get punished for it big time. Well, they certainly did. They got KO'd, and they, they, they should be back in the central. Let me go do that. He's getting a little low, but Gatlu playing the single strike Urshifu. We know its objective secure is me. I mean, look at it right there, just getting a big secure on these wild Pokemon. As we can see, ooh, nice play here. Getting that evolution for Bruv, the Trevenant, down in our bottom half. Yeah, now it feels like a real Pokemon, most importantly because of the wood hammers. Tim the Toolman Taylor out there, slinging woods around. Here we go. We have three members of Nouns here. Oh, and they're taking a massive Fire Blast. Toon, not playing what you might expect right here. We got the Fire Spin, Fire Blast, Delphox. But trying to line up the shot is Lundru to get that KO. They 
just miss it, but now they're chasing down to see if they can convert on Brub. Does anybody get caught in the fire spin? No, Geese works right around it while Tossin Eggs keeping the feet, the team on their feet as the Mew is bubbling out pretty well, trying to surf in his Megu, but nothing here for the Believers. We've got a 4v4 in this bottom path, and at any moment this can get pretty intense. That fire spin catching the Mew, big fire blast right there. Six, he's able to get out of it, though. Yeah, you actually see Zervis trying to offensively use their abilities there to try to get the KO rather than bring it back for some HP. Big Solar Beam comes through, chunks up players on the Believers. Bruv still playing Fort now and feeling good. This is a really interesting stat right here. The average score differential between Tally Bobo and Nouns Esports is only 12 points. These two teams are so incredibly close. Yeah, you can talk about the Tally Bobo Believers winning two monthly finals, but that margin that they've won by isn't big. Here we go, we're gonna scrap it out for the basement Reggie. Megu kicks this thing off, they're playing Ford, but it's the wood hammers that eat them up. Gatlu's coming in all over this red ice is now Esports, and they're looking for a wicked blow onto Lundaru. Can they convert? Big Espeon Unite catch the Trevenant, but they are eating it up, and it's the seal up by Gatlu that gets the first objective. Big Unite on the Glacion, they're trying to put the pressure back the other way. Kate, Evolutions are doing all the work here, getting credit for all the KOs between these squads as they finally part. Yeah, that combo right there from Nouns Esports, the Icicle Spear just chipping down that Reggie, and then you have the big Wicked Blow. Beautiful stuff from Nouns Esports, able to take that first objective. We got a little bit of a fight here, and now you can see actually pushing forward Toon Slim with the Fire Spin. They're catching Gotlu right here. We're gonna have to see if this Delphox is a great call with Fire Spin or a liability as the game goes on. Fanciful Fireworks come out. Gatlu seals up an objective. Mew uses their Unite, and they're pushing straight onto the goal zone. They're gonna see if they can find an opportunity here. They try to peel back. Electro Ball tried to hit Lundaroo, but it doesn't. They were looking for an opportunity on Toon, so Electro Ball hits them, but that Reggie Alecki's gonna hit here. Gatlu there gets their points right in, gets the heals as well. So they stay standing. Tons of pressure on Zervis. They get KO'd by the Glaceon. And now Z Sports out of there like Thieves in the Night. It looks like these teams are just ready to fight here in your grand finals. Making big plays, getting in the enemy team's face at every opportunity. Nouns Esports up right now, 116 to 42. They're also looking pretty good level wise, but Tally Bobo Believers is not far behind. No, look where Gatlu is. They're playing pretty forward. They're in the middle of the map, but they're playing forward looking for opportunities. Bruv as well, always responsible for the defending these goal zones, and they've, they can do it in the face of three players. They're not afraid of that. Hiding out in the tall grass to see if they can make a move. Fire spin sus them out right into the surf. Solar Beam comes through. They are so low. They're trying to get the coverage of the Solar Beam. Glaceon unite. Trevor unite back the other way. Bruv with the big horn leaves. They're trying to find it. Espeon kicks everybody up. Glaceon follows suit. They're looking for opportunities, but it's just too slim down. That's a ton of damage. Not going to the face. And now it's esports, and it's Gatlu chucking Nux into the face. Italian Bobo believers. Now they're all over this goal zone. There's still two players down. They're finally coming off for respawn. The pressure continues. This goal zone's gonna go. Bang! Nouns Esports stretching this lead out like Taffy. Another huge fight right here. Nouns is now ripping apart this bottom Reggie. They want to make sure that Tally Bobo can't even get there in time. It is at half right now. We've got the Wicked Blow ready to go, and it's down. It's so rare that you see the Mew Unite to go hyper aggro into the face of the other team to find the correct Electro Ball targets, but there is no fear out of 60s. I gotta say, bro on this Trevenant, there were 50 times I thought it was gonna get KO'd earlier than it did. It horn leeches out of that Delphox Unite, it uses its Unite move, it did everything it could to buy time for Nouns Esports to rip apart Tally Bobo Believer. And that's exactly what happened. Bruv has been facilitating these big pop-off moments from Nouns day in and day out, and today is no exception. As now Adesu's flicking the script right on top of Klaus, they're eating him up. Hornleech comes through and Bruv's playing forward. Lucario Knight back the other way, chips into Adesu. Fanciful Fireworks are all over Trevenant, and they finally get the KO. Delphox wanted that one, they got it. Toon Slim feeling good, but now the pressure's on! Big engage by Gatlu, they're trying to find Toon Slim. Espeon Unite comes up in short order, but there's two players down. It's Gatlu, you wanna talk about heating up? We're talking about fires. Sixies follows up, Electro Ball gobbling him. Zervis just has to Peel back, who's next on the chopping block? But Megu, Nouns Esports, playing big. Playing huge, four down in that fight, pushing Tally Bobo Believers away. The Delphox Unite move coming in, expertly placed, but at the same time, Nouns Esports just pushing, pushing, pushing towards Tally Bobo, taking those huge KOs. Six, he's already level 12. Yeah, look at Bruv downstairs, not giving him any breathing room, playing in the face of the path of Tally Bobo Believers. Now Nouns Esports are escorting this thing, driving it in Miss Daisy. They finally decide to peel back as three Tally Bobo Believers players are there to melt it down.
now we see Brub just heading to this central area right here to pick up these Altaria and uh, turn them into some juicy, juicy experience here for Nouns Esports. Waiting, looks like, for one of his allies to show up. There we go. Let's send all that experience over to Odessu right here. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. I mean, oh, 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 oh. a little bit of Neo from the Matrix right there. How did that miss? Yeah, not only having the sh movements to dodge that, but also the power to sling it back into the face of Toon. They get picked up by Zervis, and they got an opportunity to make moves there. Gatlu caught in the Firesman. Fire Blast comes through. They eat an egg real quick. Breakfast for dinner. Num, 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 num. Rub on the backside. They're taking tons of damage, but they're staying in the pocket as long as they can. I can't believe they're still standing. Woodhammers come out. Players are falling. I tell you what, if you believe in Tally Bobo, you better go back to it, because that's an ace. Top Gun. Tally Bobo is down. Every single player is down, but the respawn timers are ticking up right now. Rayquaza is hitting this map in one second as Tally Bobo is running towards this fight. Huge eject button as Slowbro makes it in. Rayquaza is at half right now. Mew coming in to try to rip this, and Mew secures. That is insane. Now Z Sports had it from top to bottom. They're putting the screws to him. Gargamel is Tally Bobo believers because Nouns are smurfing. Here we go. Nouns Esports raining the points in, making a statement in game number one. Wow, what a, what I a mean, game. You, you, you need to get Tally Bobo Believers some smelling salts. They need to wake up from that beatdown because now Z Sports looks electric. Obviously, Tally Bobo has games to give, but they don't want to give games like this. This was a stomp from Nouns Esports. I mean, they're still working through. There's still theoretical time. We talk about that 500-point threshold. So if you have full pockets and everybody scores, they would technically win by two. But Nouns Esports not looking to let that happen. Yeah, it looks like Nouns Esports just continuing to push right here. Big wicked blow, catches three as Tally Bobo Believers is on their goal zone right now. And I think more importantly than trying to score right here. They're going to try to figure out what they need to do in these upcoming games. Tally Bobo Believers went to Nouns Esports and they said, hey, remember what we did to you in March? And Nouns Esports, well, they took that personally. And they said, welcome back. We're here for you. Trevin at Unite comes out. Bruv is just styling now, just trying to do the best he can. We're in gutter time almost. And they're just Look at all the static he's causing. There's, they have to collapse, he's still going, dude. Grub is infinite. These trees go forever, and the forest is thick. Incredible stuff right here. We've got the slow bro pushing back. There's that fire spin from Delphox. I was wondering if it was going to be a bit of a liability moving on, and it's hard to say if it was the fire spin or not, but one thing is for sure, you've got no movement. You know, when Delphox does not have its flame charge right there, and it looks like Nouns Esports was able to take advantage of that. Sixies just putting some more damage on the board right here as we have Glaceon moving on in. Nouns Esports taking a big win in game one. So like I said, they need to bounce back in a big way. Banning Tree, Banning Tree is huge here. Yeah, Banning Trevenant, a big play right there. They do not want to deal with Brub's Trevenant at all. Banning out Urshifu is good too, of course, but this opens up the opportunity for Dodrio. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting. Banning out Urshifu when Nouns did so well with it here in game number one. I think I figured they might actually want to pick it up as we're seeing, yep, Espeon and Slowbro on the side of Tally Bobo. If, if, if you're Megu and you have the opportunity to take Slowbro, you take it every time. It's definitely their best Pokemon. Yeah, here we go. We've got Sixies looking to lock in here. There's the Mew, and there is the Snorlax from Bruv. We saw some great Snorlax plays from Bruv earlier. And they need to keep that going. Zervis back to Eldegoss is what I like to see. You mentioned their recovery numbers, and they took a lot of damage, which is what facilitated that. But the early game pressure that Zervis can put on with that is going to be a critical component. Toon grabbing Dodrio, like the sound of it. Yeah, I like the sound of that a whole lot. Nouns Esports looking in to lock their final two Pokemon right here. What are they going to pick? Obviously, Zacian not available for play yet in this tournament. Let's see what they can bring to the table. Oh, Gotlu, lock it in that Scyther. Yeah, currently on your screen, of course, is Scizor, but the, the angle that most players choose when they select it is the Scyther skill path here. I'll tell you what, Spragles, real quick while they're doing the final preparations, I was talking to the coach of Nouns Esports, Blaine, yesterday, and he mentioned, look, day one, Nouns Esports looked like the only team on stage that wasn't having any fun, and this is not what this is about. They had a mental reset last night, and look at them, finding themselves in the grand finals, taking an absolute 
beat down to the Tally Bobo Believers. Yeah, I mean, they are looking like a completely different team from day one. We've got that final lock in the Zororororororark -Rar on the side of Tally Bobo, a Pokemon that we see a lot more in NA than we do EU. But you are hungry as we head in here to game number two. Nouns Esports, Tally Bobo Believers, let's go. Game two on the hop. Gatlu taking the central, no problems. Urshifu has been banned 24 times and has a huge pick rate. You know why? Because it's good. Yeah, Urshifu, quite good as we're seeing Zoroark heading into this central area right here. Needs to get that level five early so that it can get its moves. As soon as it's done, we'll, as soon as that's done, we'll see if it's Faint Attack or Night Slash. Both pretty powerful moves. Most top players are playing Faint Attack. Big astonished by Geese had an opportunity to KO Slim there, Toon, but Sixies peeled back because they didn't want to get KO'd themselves. But it just shows how skill shot intensive Geese is is with that Pokemon being able to stun a a mobile Pokemon like Do Duo. Here we go, just continuing to clean up some experience in the top path. Got Lou coming up here. There's the Scyther. It's got the dual wing beat. We've got another sneaky assassin type Pokemon there. Another speedster, if you will. Scyther's very much a speedster. Ooh, and what are we doing here, Klaus? Just grabbing a berry off the back side of the map. So if Gatlu gets chased down, they can't grab that berry for themselves. Decently intelligent move there as the birds are eviscerated. The engagement happens. Can they get a convert on Gatlu? They just blink out of existence by another amazing hyperspace hole by Geese. Incredible hyperspace hole right there. Keeps Gatlu happy, healthy, not able to pick up a big KO. I love that play, stealing that berry right there. So incredibly close to getting a KO on Scyther. Not able to make it happen as now we have Eldegoss on the battlefield. A day soon, bruv, holding it down in the face of two players. The Tally Bobo Believers. Megu comes through with the surf. They really like that surf, bro. So do I. And theirs looks pretty darn good. Lundaru there, gonna have to level up. You want to see them get a little bit higher than five and be able to push the pace in the bottom path. We are keeping Zoroark in our top path right here as we sent the Dodrio into the central area. Scyther coming on up here. Comes Gotlu, looking to pick up a KO, looking to pick up another. Can it get two? Yes, it does. Boom. That's huge. Yes, they got one back the other way, but you saw Gatlu who didn't engage on the Zorark. They went straight for Zervis, cutting off the heels, and then after that, it was Fisher Price too easy. Nice play there, taking down this Espeon. Gotlu's running to this bottom path reader, possibly looking to pick up a KO on this slow bro right now. Let's see, big score, 30 points raining in. Nice stuff here as we are stacking up with our Scyther. Big heavy slam to allow Gatlu to get the backside of the goal zone. The surf goes wide, and Megu doesn't have anything in the tank to stop a big 30 point score. Nouns Esports looking flossy early. We've got Mew and we've got, no, Mew heading back to base as Scyther heads up top. A big KO onto the Zoroark there, and we are continuing to push. We want more stacks for our Scyther. Sixies trying to keep off Zervis, and they are successful as more points go in for Gatlu. I mean, Sixies and Gatlu are getting huge. Look at that level nine Scyther. Tally Bobo Believers forced to just try and take Registeel. Mew Unite is out. Now Zesworth's looking for an opportunity. Espeon Unite tries to catch, but it doesn't matter. Bruv is on the backside. Zorark comes through. They get eaten up by Geese, no problem. Big time pressure back, but that's a sealed up objective for the Tally Bobo Believers. That's why you take Espeon. That's why you put it on Lundru, so you can take those wins. Yeah, absolutely. Great plays there by Tally Bobo Believers. You know, they were getting beat a little bit in the fight, but they always had that Espeon around, and you cannot take an objective with an Espeon around. Yeah, now Esports took a great fight, but Tally Bobo Believers left with the objective and all of their players standing, which was the most important part there. Sometimes when you see an objective steal, you see tons of KOs raining into the face of the team that stole it, but right now, Tally Bobo Believers are doing what they can, making chicken salad out of chicken stock. Here we go. Big Unite move. Move here by the Scyther, pushing forward, looking for a KO here on Zora, oh! but it's getting turned around on him, and it looks like they might be going back in. Here comes the Dodrio, looking to pick something up. No thank you, says Bruv. Big time block stops that from happening. Yeah, but they don't catch the reset, so Bruv is getting low. Klaus can make this engagement. They get a KO streak of two. They're finding their mark now. They're heating up, no question. Gatlu's willing to battle, though. They're on the backside, but Zorg misses that skill move. Ends up on the backside of the goal zone, and that's an easy KO for now. There we go. Bruv gave him enough time to come on back with full health, come back in here and get a nice double KO. And that's exactly what you want. We're sitting here, Tally Bobo Believers just doing the light work here, trying to make sure this Reggie Alecki doesn't hit because that would open up the possibility for a big time overdunk. 
Here comes the Zorark for the support, but really the work needs to be done on a different place in the map as Lundru is here by themselves and Sixties is getting more stacks in and Adacent can bully if they want. Yeah, these are these moments where these teams, you know, they have these... Oh, oh look at the eject button. They said, look, I know I'm going down here. I want my stacks. I need my attack weight stacks. It's going to make me big and strong. And they're right. Eat your attack weights, kids. Bruv tried to catch the Dodrio with a heavy slam, but Toon darts through and makes big moves here as they do catch Megu, but Toon Slam goes straight for the score. They get a couple. Not a bad look for them. Two, uh, 10 points in in short order. Big block by Bruv. They want to hold down this goal zone as the Basement Reggie is here, Spraggles. Basement Reggie is here. We just got a Unite move for Scyther. It just popped up as available again. We're going to have to see what they want to dive in on here. Looking for the Zorark. Zorark unites as they are pulling back right now. Hoopa is unbound and chucking fists in the air. They're trying to stun them down, but here comes the Gatlu Unite. KO Streak of two. They're heating up. Finally, slow beamed and dealt with as the Espeon gets credit for it, but a lot of the work done by Megu. Six, he's still in Megu's face. Megu has an opportunity for a KO, they get it. Slowbro is not that bad at playing some offense here, and them getting a KO isn't bad. Telebobo Believers have an opportunity to rip here as Nouns Esports is still coming off respawn. We get a KO on the back side of the map, and that Telebobo Believers finding a way. Yeah, th these fights are going to start being a little different, I think, for Nouns Esports because now that we have a Unite move on Slowbro, it's going to be really tough for Scyther to do what it needs to. Basically, the biggest counter to any Pokemon like a Scyther is a Slowbro, and we saw it in that last fight. Slow beam is such a good Unite move. If they hit the correct target, it's an absolute lockdown, focus fire opportunity for the team, and an easy KO. Doesn't matter which character you pick. Cali Bobo Believers looking to bounce back here. They're down on the scoreboard, but they brought some of this experience to parity. Yeah, we can see Toon Slim hanging out in the central area there of Downs, just looking to pick up some of those buffs as we got a nice big secure here in the top path. Power up punch taking that down. As in the bottom path, we have three members of Tally Bobo 4 now pushing onto this goal. Nice little X speed push there by Bruv to keep the goal zone in nice and healthy at 70 points here. Tally Bobo Believers have four players and they want to make a move of it. Adesu, big solar beam into the light screen. Tons of damage on Toon Slim, but they're pivoting onto Adesu. Here comes Bruv. Espeon Unite catches them. You can get the KO they do in short order, of course. Holding it down is Bruv. They're trying. Giza is here with the hyperspace highway. Tally Bobo Believers want points, but Giza is making moves. They try to get poached by Toon Slim. Toon Slim keeps the pressure on and Bruv still holding it down with a big block, sending Tally Bobo Believers back and they might have just held this defensive stand. That was classy, Spraggles. No points going in. I guess we found out what happens when an unstoppable object runs into a brick wall like Bruv. My goodness. I mean, the defense right here stopping four members of Tally Bobo. And they were outnumbered the entire time through that fight. It was just a Daisu and Bruv, then just Bruv, then just Bruv and Geese, and they held it down. Not a single point going in. Take a look at this. In the bottom path, we have a Reggie spawning, but there's going to be almost no time. Just about two and a half seconds right here, meaning we are not getting a bottom Reggie fight. The next thing that's going to happen will be our Rayquaza fight. The question is, how is this fight going to manifest? Right now, Nouns Esports up by almost 200 points, so Tally Bobo is going to need to try to make a play. You can see Nouns watching their top goal right here because, of course, this Dodrio is trying to be a sneaky little bird. Of course, Gatlu just hanging out, trying to keep eyes on Toonslam. That's going to be important as Tally Bobo Believers are jumping in the middle. They're trying to keep track of where all these players are. Here comes Bruv, though, and we know they can stay in the pocket for a while. Megu susses them out. Boosted Auto comes through. We got a little 1v1 action. Gatlu, but Toon Slim's on the backside, and ooh, the double dual wing beat just misses. You'll notice Toon Slim uses the Unite move right there. Gatlu has not yet used their Unite. This could be a big, big win for Nouns Esports as we push forward towards this fight. Slow for a Snorlax trying to go home, but Lucario getting picked off. Big engage, and Klaus is feeling it. They're trying to get in the mix. Two players down and that is all on Klaus. They're making it happen. Snorlax goes down. Hoopa goes down. It's just the Scyther standing. And no, it's the big time slow beam. Tally Bobo Believer says you got an ace. We'll take it right back. There's four in the deck. Let's get after it. Rayquaza getting melted here. Spraggles duck it time. This is what we talked about with Tally Bobo Believers. That slow beam is such an amazing counter to that Scyther right here. Points raining in. Right now it's still incredibly close. 230 to 320. 12. We've got some shields, and a shield on Dodrio is such a difficult thing to deal with here because that Pokemon is so incredibly mobile. They need to break this right now, and no, they still have not. 
Still I mean, has a shield. They moved around very well there, and they're escaping with the just the sliverest of shields. Megu's holding on the back, but they're pinned by the light screen into the wall. They're trying to put pressure on a Daisu. They get blasted by a big time solar beam. Megu's on the chase a little bit, hitting that amnesia, trying to forget that beat down as the surf catches a Daisu a little bit. But look where the Dodrio is. Megu's buying time. They're trying to get everyone's attention. They're leashing back to the middle. Focus on me, focus on me, focus on me. Here comes Toon Slim going for the quick score, stretching this lead out, making sure they're a little bit more safe. Toon Slim able to score right there. That's huge. Another 48 for Tally Bobo. And no one from Nouns is able to score right here. Tally Bobo takes game number two. This is what. Oh, another scrubbing. <laughs> There's only two aces left in the deck. Make that one. Tally Bobo believers getting two there. We're going to see this scoreline populate, get a little reaction. Toon Slim says, Thumbs up. We got this, baby. Bang. 486, 230. Now you just got to focus in on your game plan. Certainly Nouns did not expect every game to go like that game one win. No, of course not as we head in here to game number three. Again, this is a best of five series. Let's take a look. Tally Bobo banning out the Espeon. Nouns Esports saying we don't want to play against this Hoopa. Slowbro, the first pick on Tally Bobo. Very common for them. They need to get their all-star defender. Yeah, I mean, Megu on Slowbro compared to all their other Pokemon, which are played at a very high level, is just that much better. That they say, Megu on Slowbro is our key component. We need that, no questions asked. We've got Gotlu and uh, Bruv locking in some Pokemon here. Bruv obviously going to move that around the Mew. Gotlu possibly playing the Dodrio here for Nouns Esports. Lundaru now picking up the Glaceon. And we've got that Urshifu. Tally Bobo Believers possibly using the strategy that we saw in Nouns Esports use so well in game one. Yeah, without a doubt. The question for me is where does a Daisu end up? Lundaru has been doing great on these evolutions for the side of the Tally Bobo Believers, and of course, Klaus on this Urshifu is going to be tough to deal with. But getting a late Trevenant, that makes Bruv feel good. That puts them in the comfort zone. But where is a Daisu going to go? Here we go. Zervis possibly locking in this Comfey right here. Toon Slim on the Aegislash, bringing out some sword. And Comfey possibly being a nice little collar for that Pokemon. He's got one final Pokemon on the side of Nouns Esports. What is it going to be right here? Delphox. Delphox, obviously, an amazing Pokemon. It'll always have a Unite move. And that Unite move shuts down the healing mm -hmm. of enemy Pokemon. I think we cracked the code a little bit to the Aegislash that we were asking each other about yesterday. Aegislash, again, theoretically, is really good into Dodrio. As soon as Dodrio goes in, you hit your wide guard, and then you play off of that as the the stun that happens from that onto all their momentum completely, yes. and then you get clean engagements. Yeah, and if you've got a comfy collar on a Pokemon that already has a natural self-generating shield and heal with its boosted attacks, this could be pretty huge. You also see Toon Slim running that potion, so they are just going to be able to keep themselves inside of a fight as we head in here. <laughs> Game number three of your grand finals. Tally Bobo believers, your purple team. Nouns Esports, your orange team. We are all squared up one to one. Klaus working through the middle. Again, not historically the central area player for Tally Bobo believers, but that's how important level five on Urshifu is. Here we go. Sixies, the Del Fox just getting all of their experience in that central area. Bruv on Trevenant is a thing of beauty. I mean, this player has just been so unbelievable. <laughs> picking up a KO call. Come on, Gotlu right here, scoring, stacking up. Adesu in a little bit of trouble. Up, oh, I oh. spoke too soon. Gee's coming up, and that was a big Electro Ball KO. Now Esports getting a couple early. Gee's even getting their points in because Comfy can't stem that tide too well. And Bruv is just playing on the opposite side of the map. They don't care, Spraggles. They don't care. And right now, Bruv maybe in a little bit of trouble, getting a little too big for their britches. But you know what? Gatlu says, actually, I'll handle this right here. I've got the huge drill pack coming, and I try to get the secure. Looks like I do. That's exactly what Bruv was trying to do. They didn't care if they got KO'd, if they leashed the EV across the map for the Tally Bobo Believers. We've got a big time engagement here. Two players down, and the Han Hedge getting a KO in short order. Toon heating up a little bit. Level four wants to hit that double aid quickly, but it's Klaus that still gets the stacks in, and now Esports has to try and deal with that. Sixies evolving right there, so they were able to get some of that experience in the center. We do now finally have that first evolution for Toon Slim.
Zervis going to see if they can hop a ride on this Urshifu. It is carrying the red buff there, so it can engage very well, especially with the Comfy if they want it. Lundru guarding this goal pad here as Bruv, of course, always about that action, playing very far forward, big time wood hammers. And what does that purchase, Spraggles? Bunch of time. And here we go. We see Toon, the Aegis Slash, being sent towards the central area, sharing his caring and Tally Bobo believers, sharing that central area so it can become an Aegis Slash as quickly as possible. The level five on that Pokemon, pretty underwhelming, but once it becomes that Aegis Slash, <laughs> it is very difficult to deal with as that Wood Hammer helps pick up a KO right here after God lose nice drill back. Wood Hammer, drill back. I mean, we got a contractor out here announced eSports. Yeah, I mean, Glaceon was a nail lined up for that Wood Hammer, but you could tell the coordination between Gatlu as they were coming down and they cut off Lundru from getting back, allowed Bruv to get that KO. Look at here, we do not yet have an Aegis Slash. It could be going down. Comfy trying to protect it right there. The Mystical Fire does not find it. However, the Wicked <laughs> Blow does some huge damage. Comfy cleans up that KO. It's a thing of beauty watching a talented Comfy player play. Hopping off, going through the tall grass, using their auto attacks, latching back on, giving someone else a collar, picking them up, hopping off, moving across the map. You can really tell the difference between somebody who is seasoned in with Comfy and somebody that's just taking the ride. Why do you keep pointing to me when you're saying bad Comfy plays? I don't understand. Spraggles, nothing personal, Chief. Here we go. Registeel is on the map, and we see we have three, four members now of Tally Bobo Believers in this bottom path right here. Now it's Esports trickling in as well as they pick up a huge KO on Glaceon. That was Focus Fires down. Klaus and Gatlu flanked them and absolutely took them out. Of course, Gatlu looking for another opportunity here as they're pushing forward. Klaus wanted. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted the Dodrio in a bad way, but Dodrio wanted it just a little bit more. Nouns Esports take, excuse me, uh, Nouns Esports trying to take that down, but it's Zervis that clutches it out. Yeah. Wow, I'm all over the place. He's clutching Incredible it. Incredible stuff there from Nouns. Yeah, I mean, it was quite a fight. Nouns really in control of that thing. Looking great. This Delphox already level 10 on the side of Nouns Esports, and that means, as we said before, unite moves for days. Yeah, but here's the Aegis Slash tune. They're level nine. They're trying to scale up a little bit. They almost had uh, a Desu on the lockdown. Of course, a Desu schmooves out of the way. The Mew has great mobility, and they peel back. Here we go. Reggie Alecki down. Very, very low. Secured there, of course, by the Urshifu, who's looking for a big KO. There we go. Sends the Delphox up into the air and takes a nice KO and the objective. Gotlu coming in trying to punish them for that. The Comfy Unite move keeping them around for a while, but they do go down. Yeah, and look at this Mew, aggressive Mew play again. That's just becoming a Nouns Esports staple here. They're getting out in the mix to see who can they target down. Nouns Esports going to try and keep this Reggie Alecki. Big Horn Leech push by a bruv to make that happen. Woodhammer draws them together. Can they convert on some KOs? Light screen goes out. Really, it's the Reggie Alecki that's taking the brunt of this damage. Nouns Esports keeps that thing from hitting. Bruv is the absolute tree god in these games. I mean, this Trevenant play is unbelievable. This is... Defender 101, 201, all the way up to Masters having a PhD. Watch this player play a Defender. You will understand what they are supposed to be doing in Pokemon Unite because this is unbelievable. Bruv getting forced out, and that's a good little move by Tally Bobo to close out that goal zone. They're collapsing on Toon right now. That has the Comfy, but there's three players there. Ton of damage raining into the face of them. Can they keep it up? Wideguard comes through. Fanciful Fireworks as well. Boosted Auto to get out of it. Good little eject there by Toon Slim using that boosted auto as a retreat mechanism, and they're able to make, make it out. Looks like they're still trying to possibly collapse in on Toon Slim right here. Nice boosted, nice Electro Ball, as they are still chasing this down. Here comes the Surf. They want to deal with this Aegis Slash, but that Comfy is keeping them happy, healthy, still on the map. The Slow Beam stopping the Delphox so they can secure this. That was a great positioning by Tally Bobo. They knew exactly what they had to do. Megu comes in with the Surf cut off tandem wide guard so that Toon doesn't go down. Another wide guard there. Comfy Unite to get the heels going. Now Esports is fighting behind their goal pad in the sea, speed flux zone. Trevor United is bruv action time. They're pushing forward. Wood hammers are coming out. Two players down for the Tally Bobo Believers. And when you get pot shots from a solar beam, sun plants make sense. They've got the push going. Tally Bobo Believers are forced to reel. Nouns Esports defending this goal zone in a mean, mean way. Yeah, Nouns Esports looking incredible right here. That Trevenant doing some real work and everyone able to help pick up the pieces right there and get some big 
KOs. Nouns not letting them score too much. They're up 210 to 108. As I often say, that 100 point differential is massive. If you can be up by over 100 points, that puts you in such a power position heading into the later moments of this match. Without a doubt. And being up by over 100, but still having one tier one goal zone available is oh. huge. Two players down in short order. And that is, of course, the downfall of Comfy. The minute your ride breaks down, you are broken in half, too. The push continues as Klaus has to go back, grab a berry, and they close out that goal zone right in their face. Can they keep the pressure on it? Desu's distracting. They're popped up for the Unite Move Wicked Blow combo. That's a KO, but the pressure continues. Tally Bubble looking back the other way. They're harnessing in on Geese. They're focusing on Geese. Fanciful Fireworks come out to put the pressure on back the other way. Sixties is looking for bodies, and they're founding the Urshifu in short order. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Can I melt this steel? I sure can. Toon goes down after taking the Dodria, lopping off all three heads. Still schmoovin' his sixties. They're looking for an opportunity. Glaceon long shots on Geese. They keeping it going. Two KOs back the other way, and the tree finally sorts out Glaceon. What a mess. These people are scrapping in the mud. Unbelievable here, that Trevenant coming out of the tall grass, emerging from the forest there for a huge double KO. These fights are just so impressive when you're watching players at this level right here. We have Gotlu making their way to the top path, screwing this Reggie Alecki as Reg Ice is spawned in the bottom path, but there's no time, Doob Snacks, because we have Rayquaza in five seconds right here. We have Tally Bobo Believers setting up for this fight. No Urshifu Unite, no Comfy Unite, no Glaceon Unite. This might be the time for Nouns to just take this fight. They're looking. Bruv leading the charge on Megu. Megu is so low. They try to surf out. Bruv keeps the pressure on. Toon Slim boosting auto on the backside. They catch a solar beam. They try to use wide guard. Can they make it happen? Comfy's on top of them. Big fanciful fireworks come out. They're all caught in the middle. Toon Slim can't get out. They're trying to. Forces out the Comfy Unite, but they're putting the pressure on. Two KOs for Klaus. They can they find more? Who else is going to go down? Nouns Esports find themselves on the backside of a nightmare. Comfy sorts out their opponent here. Delphox finally taking out Klaus, but there's three players down for now. Tally Bobo wants this right. Quaza, they're starting to rip it. Service hanging out. Who are they going to hitch a ride to? Toon Slim is still standing, if you can believe it, Spraggles. There we go. The secure by the Comfy, of course, as Tally Bobo is running to make some scores happen. Just having to be a little tactical about this right now as not all of their players are up, and they do not want to lose these shields. We have Mew with the Unite move. We have Comfy on top of this Aegis Slash right here, and it looks like Aegis Slash has already lost the shield, but Comfy has not. They cannot hit it right now, and it has a Rayquaza shield. Yeah, so they need to make a concerted push here. Lundru has a big time shield as well, but tons of damage is being rolled in. Nouns Esports trying to play the defense of the century here. Glaceon sorts out Bro, but that's not a bad start as they're still trying to get to Lundru's shield. Comfy hops Lundru off! Bats up! Tail streak of two for Ga excuse me, for the Glaceon. Fanciful Fireworks come out, but the engagement is deep. Sixties goes down. Comfy hops off again. They still have their shield. Not anymore. It's eviscerated. 269 to 320. Nouns Esports has the lead, and there's three players down for the Believers. Gotlu going down to the Glaceon. However, Glaceon eating a huge solar beam right here. Another 10 points here for Tally Bobo as they are just trying to even this thing up. But they <laughs> they need more. They need more points. Slowbro growing to grab some more. But I think it's too little too late as Mew is running once again to score. Incredible stuff. Nouns Esports another 30 points. They're going to take this thing. Game three goes to Nouns. Come on, Megu trying to make it happen. Grabbing a little bit. Grabbing a little bit, grabbing a little bit. We take a look back. Mew makes a run, and I think they got it. Bang, you called it. You were spot on. 49 point victory for now. Heading into game number four. Nouns needs this to reset this bracket. Nouns Esports, your purple team. Tally Bobo Believers, your orange team. That's one thing that you mentioned about Nouns Esports. When their back is against the wall, they certainly show up and show out, which means what? You don't let them put their back against the wall. You kick them through the wall, and you send them out of the house, and you say, get out of here. That's Tally Bobo Believer is going to have to do two on the hop to make that happen, though. That's what Tally Bobo is looking to do right here. But you have to wonder, you know, momentum being such a big thing in eSports, is Tally Bobo already thinking about the next bracket? Because if they are, they're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, well, I mean, there's two ways to look at it, right? We've got another bracket to do it. Do we test some stuff out, see if we can, you know, Throw, throw some stuff at the wall, see what sticks. Looks like no, as they're easily locking in Slowbro and Espeon. And at this point, they have to ban the tree because 
I mean, Ruff's tree is disgusting. I love when the bands feel personal, when they're coming in here and you're saying, I don't think it's the best defender in the game, but it's the last thing I want to deal with right now is Bruv on that Trevenant. <laughs> well, there's another Pokemon that Bruv feels confident, and that's the Mime play. They're one of the few that still pick it up because their skill level with it is just the difference maker. That's what makes it from what other teams consider it to what Nouns considers it. That's right. Zervis, once again, on this Eldegoss, I feel like this is such an amazing pick for them. Their Eldegoss play has been fantastic throughout this tournament. Now we're going to see what Sixies wants to lock in right here, hovering the Talonflame for a minute, but Mew is still on the table. Adesu possibly feeling good about the Decidueye, but deciding to go with the Delphox. I love Adesu's Decidueye, and I hope we get to see it in these Grand Finals. But of course, they're making the best picks for the moment. Klaus snapping up Zorark again. We are wondering how much, if at all, we are going to see it this weekend after its recent buffs. And I'm glad to see that Klaus believes, like we do, that this thing has been turned up to 11. Let's go to work. One thing for sure, Zorark is amazing into Mew. It's amazing into Delphox. It's really Really good at chasing down some of these Pokemon, even that have incredible mobility. Fate attack, you can ascend, you can just chase a Pokemon all the way across the map. And we've seen Zoroark be an incredible Mew counter, especially in North America. Game four is underway. Here we go, Nouns Esports, your purple team, Tally Bobo Believers, your orange team. If Tally Bobo wins this thing, we are getting a bracket reset. And Tally Bobo, excuse me, Nouns, we're getting a bracket reset. And we're going to have to do this thing all over again to see if Nouns can take down the number one team in EU. Tally Bobo Believers going to have to bounce back here because not only do they not want the bracket reset, they don't want to give Nouns any more momentum, especially after taking the Rayquaza and not winning the game. Nouns Esports, of course, he's on one of their favorite Pokemon, and when they're on Hoopa, Nouns just looks a little different. You can see that Gossifleur just eating the big boosted attack for the Buzzwool up here. Buzzwool being so dominant throughout this tournament, just an incredible Pokemon in that top path. Nice big secure as we've got the Zorar coming down to the bottom path looking to punish Nouns Esports. Yeah, just a do duo can't do much as Galu still looks for an engage, but in tandem with the, the, the Brexic in there, they get a KO. Klaus gets it back the other way. No questions about it. A little one for one. Megu needs to tick over to this slow bro, though, quickly. Toon Slim in a little bit of trouble here. Backing up, eating the berry, coming back for this fight. Obviously, this confusion barrier combo mixed with this Electro Ball. Mime not looking nerfed to me. No, not at all. Not when Bruv's on it, that's for sure. Gatlu's still looking for their level five so they can hit Dodrio and bang, they get it right there. 8.30 on the clock. Nouns Esports doing pretty good. Tally Bobo Believer's slight lead though. Nouns Esports, we're sending Gatlu up to the top path looking for this KO. Big boosted, not able to get it done. The Pollen Puff keeping him alive. Here comes another drill peck and there's the KO. Good engagement there. Zervis is just looking at the face of these two players, Gatlu and Geese, and they're like, I can't stop much. Not as Eldegoss, not by myself. I really need some support despite being the supporter. And here we go. We've got Zorark positioning themselves in this central area right here with this Espeon. They just want to rip this apart, and they do that pretty quickly right there. Looks like the mystical fire from Delphox getting the big bird, but a lot of that's secured there by Tally Bobo. Yeah, Klaus just darting through, actually leveraging the damage that Sixies did to all the Swablu and Altaria, and able to take a bunch of the Swablu for themselves. All right, here we go. Seven minutes, 40 seconds, meaning we have our objective spawning here in 40 seconds in the top and bottom path. Both of these teams have been looking like bottom path players. They are looking for that Reggie. Yeah, level eight's on both sides, Zorark and Delphox, so you want to keep an eye on them. Klaus wants to get some buffs, wants to get some experience, and they want to meet down at the objective to go do work. Toon Slim up here in this top path. Maybe he doesn't know that he's dealing with the Delphox. Sees it now. We're going to have to see what he's able to do up here as Adesu looking for that level 9. Huge break point if it can get its Unite move. Toonslim trying to get a little froggy up front in the face of two, but they're finally forced to reel here. Hyperspace Highway is open, means now Esports can rotate quickly. Zork's on the backside, Klaus wants more. Solar Beam dart through after the reposition, does tons of damage to Klaus. That's massive. Megu getting caught, KO'd quickly and swiftly. Tally Bobo Believer's absolutely forced to retreat. Lundaroo needs an opportunity, but they're getting backdoored by Gatlu. They get stuck. Espeon Unite gets, up, gets his two. They're putting the pressure on Gatlu. Can they get KO'd before they reset? They do. That's massive.
aggressive. Two players down for now. Regirock is at half HP. Zervis is there trying to do at the best they can. Lundru finally goes down, but just enough time for Megu to pop up. This has been an absolute back and forth. Chuck and Haymakers, it gets where Regirock is, back where they started with their HP bar almost full. That's right, Tally Bobo Believers has a few go down. Nouns has a few go down. We use the Unite move from both Del Fox, Espeon, and Zoroark as we are back in this thing looking for a big KO and they pick it up on the Hoopa. They get it on keys in short order, but they want more. The Regirock rocks come down, stuns them up. Can they get a KO? Slowbro takes care of the Mew, but Zoroark does in fact go down. Mime though, bruv, of course, they want it. Zerva says, I'm I'm not going to be outshined. Give me one, two. Big engagement. Gatlu rips through some players. Give them two there. They're still putting the pressure on. Megu goes down. Adesu wants in on the action. And finally, this Regirock is going to be dispatched. Look at Gatlu flying in there for the save. You're all clear, kid. Let's blow this thing and go home. We got a hot solo moment from the Dodrio. Looked good. Look, nice secure by Lundru there just to get some of the wild experience as they're pivoting into the middle to see what they can do with the Swablu and Altaria here. But really now Zesports has the positional advantage until Zorark darts in. Klaus wanted it. They try to catch the fanciful fireworks. Espeon unite back. Lundru wants one, but the pressure's on and Gatlu says, uh, 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 not today. Three heads, give me another KO. Adesu and Gatlu are just pushing, pushing, pushing into the face of Tally Bobo, picking up those KOs on Espeon. Desu in a little bit of trouble right here, but they are able to make it home through that hyperspace hole. However, if that was Surf Plus, you might have been knocked up out of that. They're going to have to watch that as this match continues. Yep, get that at 11, and Megu certainly wants it, but it allows Toon Slum to play very far forward. The Surf's in tandem as they pick them up and slam them down right into a Surf stun. Hoopa Unite is out, and they are locked down Klaus, and they are absolutely massive with the Showtime Spirit Fingers, baby. The rings are unbound, and the pressure is on. Tally Bobo Believers are trying to find their opportunity, but they're getting stunned in their own goal zone. Can Toonslim get an engagement here? Zervis takes to the skies. They crash land. Cotton crash, in fact. A little movement there by Toon to try and eat up the Delphox at Daisu, but not today. That didn't quite happen. Incredible fight right there. Hoopa bringing the team down, but they were not able to push into that goal. Great defense by Tally Bobo. This game incredibly close right now. 100 to 128. Everyone just picking up some experience on the map. They see those yellow dots. They know those are wild Pokemon. They need to play a little Pac-Man and eat all of that so they can be strong for these next fights. Scott Lou in a lot of trouble right here, using a Unite move. No way! Picks up a KO, getting United right back. Unreal, and that's a good use of the, uh, the Buzzwell Unite there, because there's no way you can give up a two a two on one at all, not at this stage in the game. Buzzwell actually getting a little bit more action up top, sealing up the Mew, but the next basement, Reggie, is already here. Now Esports does have two players down. Tally Bobo Believers have an opportunity to shred. Just non-stop fighting here in this match. The Mystical Fire coming out, the Unite move coming out, but there's the Slow Beam, there is the Psy Shock, there is the Zorark, and they take down Delphox. Very quickly, and that's the target they want. He's coming through the hero play, but it's Espeon getting it for the Tally Bobo Believers. Lundaroo really feeling these Evolution Pokemon and making them look solid. Look how far Klaus is pushing up into this lead, the Speed Flux Zone, making sure Sixies cannot disrupt those scores, and now Tally Bobo Believers are over by that 100-point threshold you talked about. And now you can see, you know, Tally Bobo really taking advantage of this Regieleki, and this is what you would hope a team is able to do with that advantage. Now Esports has to defend this in the top path, so they have a much better fight in the bottom path for Tally Bobo. They take that, boom, slow beam onto the Delphox, able to get a big win, and yes, they are up by over 100 points. That is a huge break points, points-wise. Well, on the hunt is now Esports. They want to try and catch a body, and they do see Megu, but hiding out is Klaus to see if they can get any Engagement, bruv, susses it out perfectly. And the solar beam comes through, falls just shy of getting a KO there. Boosted Auto comes through, Megu steps up to take it on the chin for the squad. They're still pushing to this goal zone though, and we have 225, which means 25 seconds till Rayquaza, but this fight rages on. <laughs> that was so close, that was a massive side shock. Fortunately for Nouns Esports, they were able to make it back through, and they do not come back through that portal. No shot. They say, no, we're, we're going we're gonna to reorient ourselves right here. Got Lou scoring in the top path, stopping themselves short right here, not taking the full opportunity to score, as we do have Buzzwall making their way to the top path, fighting up there, and we have teams positioning themselves down here towards this Rayquaza pit. 
Dodrio is getting eaten up. Klaus pulls up to try and get that KO that's huge as they're caught on the backside. Tally Bobo Leaver's just trying to hold down the middle, not let that go down. But of course, Sixies blinks out for the reset. Megu is pretty down. They need to pick up some heals from Zervis, but they, again, are just buying time. Here comes Toon. That's who they need. Klaus is right behind. Here we go. We have nine seconds, six now until Dodrio is back. Tally Bobo could use this advantage to pick a big fight. Otherwise, Hoopa is going to be able to fly everyone in Avengers style right here and Gottlu could come right back. In fact, they don't even need it. Tally Bobo not taking a fight right here, and Gottlu can do whatever they want. Toon Slim maybe trying to make a sneaky score. So Klaus yeah, diving, that, diving on Sixies as soon as they step up. Apologize for cutting you off. That's big time serve right into their fanciful fireworks. But look at the buzzle going for the Hundo Burger. That goes in. Tally Bobo believers stretch their lead out, and they're kind of taking this fight. As long as they can just withstand and burn time, they can make it happen. Big surf on top of the portal. Nobody catches the reset. The stuns are out. The buzzle is in with that Unite move, and the Espeon gets a KO back. Mr. Mime Bruv is down, and that's going to start falling like dominoes. But the Hoopa at least takes care of Klaus, at the very least. But now there's two players down for the Believers. The stuns roll on. Zervis is low. They're coming through. Adesu sees the KO that they can get. The Cotton Guard comes through. Electro Ball! Putting the ball down for sure, as now Toon Slim has to try and eat as much time off the clock as they can. They're up by 200, but they need this, and Sixty says, I need that body. Now it's Esports with a chance. Five members of Tally Bobo are down. They somehow wiped them off the map. Only 22 seconds remain. They need to secure this, and they need to score. They are behind by over 200 points. They have to run. Gotlu is not good for scoring in this top path. He will not get enough points. Let's see what they are now able to do. Ten seconds left, Doom Stacks. Megu left in the dust. Bruv making move. You're talking about clown shoes. How about goofy shoes? They're pushing. That's another hundo banger in. Can they get somebody's points in? That's that in. Goes That's in. in. That goes in. Show us on that cool split screen thing we're doing. We got to see this thing. Now Esports feels it, but in the last ten seconds, you don't see the score line. Let's check it out together. Boom! Oh, Nouns Esports bracket reset what they're known for. Let's oh, go. It's insane. Three wins right here decides your AOS Finals champions as we head into our first ban phase. <laughs> I, this is wild, Spraggles. I am so excited for this. Tally Bobo Believers, the big question is, are they the best team? Not in you in the world. And now Esports putting that to the test here as Tally Bobo Believers are forced to keep that tree out of Bruv's hands. I mean, this is the most targeted ban of all time. Or Shifu ban from now Esports. We have Trevenant ban from Tally Bobo Believers. But that lets Geese get their hands on this Hoopa. And it has been absolutely devastating. Megu and Zervis. Locking in. It looks like, nope, the old faithfuls. Lunderoo pick up the Espeon. Megu on that slow, bro. Listen, Tally Bobo Believers are going back to the same well over and over again. These Pokemon are good, but they haven't been able to quite find the success in that first best of five. Lunderoo, though, great Espeon work. Megu, of course, great slow, bro. Bruv, forced onto the Snorlax because I don't get the treat. Some amazing Snorlax play from Bruv earlier also, by the way, as we have possibly Buzzwool and Eldegoss being locked in. Oh, no, they're taking the bird. Dodrio locked in for Tally Bobo. Yeah, that's a great way to essentially keep the Pokemon out from your opponent's hands. Obviously, now Z Sports would have snapped up a Dodrio if it was available. This is a great way to get a good Pokemon and also keep it out of the hands of your opponent. Now, Z Sports though, has an opportunity to take the Glaceon, which is typically pretty good, into a Dodrio because they already have the Mew. Gotlu moving back on over to the Blastoise, a Pokemon that we've seen actually a lot in this competition. Adesu on that Delphox, and now we have the final lock-in, Klaus on the Buzzwool. Klaus's Buzzwool is pretty solid. They have some good pop-off potential here, but how is that going to be facilitated? Zervis needs to get them going early. They need to get those stacks in without a doubt. If Klaus is going to be return to form, they need a little support from Zervis. Now it's Esports with that Blastoise pick. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of Blastoise makes its way into this match. Obviously, you could go the more straight tank defendery style of Surf Hydro Pump. You also could be using this Rapid Spin Hydro Pump build. We are in our grand finals bracket reset. $25,000 on the line. That's the what these teams are playing for. Tons of championship points. And of course, the glory that comes winning the AOS Cup.
Taking a look here, Tootsum going to be in the middle. They want to hit five very quickly, get into that Dodrio in short order. Lunderu still level three. They're trying to find their opportunity to take over to four. Mega with great support, but the pressure is on. Snorlax, a great early game Pokemon, able to put tons of pressure. Yalu kind of fearless with that Squirtle, though, as Klaus getting easy stacks up top. Yeah, Klaus just pushing in towards that top path of goal. And you can see there, nice Fell Stinger getting the secure. Buzzwool, so incredibly difficult to deal with early. Just such a menace. <laughs> but Gee's making it happen through the Astonish as well. It's a great way to do it. You Astonish, you stun the opposing team, then you use your, your basic attack to seal the objective. Kind of an uh, interesting approach to securing. Toon Slim making their way down to this bottom path. A little bit of a sneaky play here as many players go to the top path. We can see Bruv getting pushed back right right now. Toon able to score some of their points as they now push down towards Tally Bobo. Yeah, and they're going to try and get a ton of these birds, but Bruv with the cutoff, they get stunned. They try to make it out. They get KO'd by the breaks again. That's a great look from that and a great KO early for Nouns Esports. Obviously, look at this. 24 points going into this top goal. They're just able to run this Mew around after Hoopa had to leave to help the squad down there in the bottom path. That is a Hydro Pump, it looks like, on this Blastoise, so we'll have to see what move they go with after that. Zervis getting incredibly low, but somehow able to make it out. What a sneaky Eldegoss. Sneaky Eldegoss indeed, but that forces now Esports' attention to it. They thought they had that easy KO, and after Zervis is just wasting everyone's time right now, but most importantly, let Klaus as the buzz will get out earlier. Very nice there. A ton of time wasted as the buzz will is now almost level seven. And that's exactly what Zervis was hoping to do as his tune comes through like an express train, just da -da 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 -da, trying to grab as many of those birds as they can. Lundru gets a good crop of them as well, meets back up with Megu to hold down this bottom path. You look level wise at these two teams, things are going really well for Tally Bobo, up level wise almost across the board on Nouns Esports right here. Already level seven here from that Espeon. Just one of the most difficult Pokemon to deal with in path. Their secure is so incredible. It's really good. Snorlax Mew Lane is great. Toon Slim trying to find their way back out. Somehow Gatlu doing a great job of just getting tons of damage in. Can they sort out Gatlu though who scrambles back for a very geese buying time. The hyperspace highway is open. The team rolls through. They get a quick KO on Klaus and now they're pushing. Is Toon going to get caught? No. They poach the birds and try to escape. Not a bad look from the Believers, only giving up one after the Nouns rotation. And now they're heading down to this bottom path right here so that they can collapse onto this Reggie that just popped up on the map. Reggie Steel, we've got five members of Nouns down in the bottom path for it right now. Espeon Unite comes out, but not for a lot of value. Just Bruv there who catches the quick reset. Megu clutching it out for the Believers, and they're going to look to push. Bruv is the lowest member. They're not going to make it back. The Solar Beam comes through right before they blink out of existence. And now the, they're trying to stave off Megu from this goal zone. Is Tally Bobo Believers going to make this push? Toon had a, an engagement on a Daisu. They're going for it. Can they get the KO? It's the Buzzwool that does. Klaus finding it, laying him up, smacking him down. Three players down for now in Z-Sports. And can they add a goal zone to that bucket list? It looks like they might, but maybe they're, no, they're going to keep it up. They possibly could keep this goal zone up, or they're just waiting for the perfect math right here. Another five, another 40. Huge overdunk in this bottom path. Eight to 191. Things really fell apart for Nouns Esports. This is a gassed up bird. Toon level 11 already. Left to his own devices in the top path, and they're getting it done. Reggie Alecki still stands, and all the goal zones for the Believers are still there as well. Very, very close to securing that on the side of Nouns, but Megu coming in there, the slow bro, was such an incredible secure in that moment. And as soon as it happened, things went, you know, south for Nouns very quickly <laughs> as this Trio is just running around Adesu. Here comes the Unite, another drill pack. Wow, what a block. No way, able to save it right there. That was insane. Tune, deep engage. What a block saved by Bruv for Adesu as they have to use their own Unite move as well. Finally, they get on top of Sixies, get that KO. Tally Bobo Believers are playing inspired. Look at this right here 255 to 8. Reggie Alecki going the way of Tally Bobo. Nouns is going to have to deal with this. They are so far behind on the scoreboard right now. 15 seconds until Reggie spawns in the bottom path. Tally Bobo Believers playing like a team.
team possessed here in our bracket reset. I mean, Toon is a kid in a candy store. You cannot leave them unsupervised that long. They hit level 11 by the six minute mark, and that's gonna just allow them to take over these fights as Tally Bobo Believers can actually play up in the face of Nouns Esports and take this Registeel uncontested. Yeah, Registeel going down right here. No one from Nouns even able to show up. They head up to this top path right here, try to put some points on the board. This goal zone sitting at 27. The drum pack coming in. Gotlu goes down. Mew's in a lot of trouble. The block might not be able to save it this time. Chasing towards the bush. Eldegoss looking for the KO. Picks it up. And now Toon Slim keeping this fight going. Looking to see if we can get another drill pack. There's the block. Stops him from being pushed off right here. But it's so incredibly low. And Toon is relentless. He is looking for this KO as they get ported down through the Hoopa Unite move. And they're looking for a fight here. Espeon Unite comes out. Lundaroo wants to convert on Delphox. And they do in short order. They are low in the Muse on the chase. This is going to be a quick 60s Electro Ball. Bang for a KO. Guarantee that thing. But meanwhile, Toon Slim scoring, though. They're keeping this point lead, and the pressure is on. Forces out the Hydro Typhoon. Does Klaus by using their own Unite move. Now they're caught out on the backside. Big time block straight into a Desu. Straight firepower. Going to burn down this bug. Can they zap it? They do. <laughs> Incredible stuff right there. It was just every single combo that you could make. You had the Blastoise Unite, you had the Heavy Slam, you had the Block, you had the Hydro Pump. They just kept pushing, pushing, pushing into that Flux Zone, picking up a big KO right here. But look at this scoreboard. 299 points already for Tally Bobo Believers. Getting themselves in a position where even if they don't get Rayquaza, they could still win this thing. They have completely lost sight of Toon, who is now level 13. And they are playing bold, and they're playing big like they know they're the hugest thing on the map. They have level 13. They're poaching the birds, taking all the experience for themselves. They're going to hit level 15 here in short order if they keep leaving them on babysat. Here we go. Reggie Alecki being chipped up here by Nouns. They don't even necessarily want to get it as bad as they want it off the map and not heading to their goal zone right now. Reggie getting low, secured there by the Del Fox. Buzzwole going down. Got Lou on one, able to make it out through the hyperspace hole. But here comes Toon, picking up a KO back the other way. Rapid spin into the, the basic attacks to get that damage out. Good block by Brov so they can get a huge KO on Toon. Their respawn timer is massive, and now Z Sports can maybe make a push to this goal zone. They're going to let Reggie Alecki hit like you said, just content that it's not going into their way. Absolutely right there. And we just saw a very late Unite move there from Dodrio. However, they did get their KO timer reset, which actually could be beneficial in this final fight. Still up considerably. 102 to 299. Nouns not attempting to fight over this, but they know Dodrio is going to be back without a Unite move. This could be the moment that they need to pick a fight and win. Good positioning by Bruv early, but they are playing chunk. They're at about 70%, 80% HP there. Megu's going to look for an opportunity to do something. They're trying to face check, and they might have pinched Klaus on the backside. The block comes through. Service comes through the support. The Surf chips up Bruv, so they can't finish out Klaus, and a good save by Tally. Now we have the Unite move coming in here by the Hoopa. I don't know if they're bringing Blastoise in or Bras uh, the Blastoise is going to keep fighting the Dodrio. No, it is down here for the fight. Huge slow beam onto Adesu on the backside. Forces out the Bruv Unite move. They're playing on the left side. Screw your screen. The Rapid Spin's coming through. Can they take care of Zervis? They're all over them. Zervis can't get the heals. Megu just gets taken down. Zervis is now grabbing Gatlu's attention, trying to leash them along. Toon does catch a reset, and that's going to be good for a re-engage. But Nouns Esports is all over this Rayquaza. It's at half HP. Klaus is trying to make some magic happen. Big time Unite sorts out Gatlu on that, but they get KO'd right back the other way by 60s. Two players down for both sides. Megu going to come off respawn in short order. What's going to happen here? Nobody's touching Rayquaza anymore. Can they make a money move? Eldegaw Zervis takes care of 60s, and they're working on the top path. The Daisu goes down. It's just Bruv. This Rayquaza is so low, they can't let Bruv heavy slam this for the victory tune. Doesn't let him off the hook. Tally Bobo Believers takes the first one. What an incredible fight from Tally Bobo. Rayquaza was up long enough for them to come back in this thing, get a huge team fight win and secure, and they are going to take game one as the points rain in. Now it's eSports not able to shut this thing down. Tally Bobo Believers in for a late lunch today at 3.30. They want the hundo burgers and get served up raw. Now it's eSports trying to hold it down in the gut goal zone, but they are Uber Eats and they are delivering right on the doorstep is the Tally Bobo Believers just getting in more points, Spraggles. Incredible stuff here from Tally Bobo. I mean, they were really behind in that fight, but now just could not take down Rayquaza fast enough. They were able to re-engage right here and win a big, big fight. Here comes Toon Slim, the Dodrio. 
Big old drill pack. Nice stuff from Tally Bobo taking game one. There are so many variables. There are so many things that you might want to do if you're Tally Bobo or if you're Nouns. You get that one ban, and Tally Bobo has been using that as a targeted ban to make sure that you cannot use that Trevenant. Well, it looks like it's going to be selected here if Nouns Esports wants it because it's Espeon and Hoopa that are taken out of the equation. Zervis looking to lock in something. No shot, it's a Venusaur. No, of course. Slow bro for Megu, let's make it easy. Is Bruv going to stick with the tree now that they have a chance to be an absolute mutant with it? Big question mark. Yeah, that is really the question right here. And then the other question is, do they lock it in right now or do they wait to pick it later, assuming that they don't think Tally Bobo is going to pick Trevenant at this point? So right now, they take the Mew and they take the Urshifu. And we've, saw, we've seen Gatlu just be incredibly dominant on this Urshifu. Glaceon, however, being snatched up by Tally Bobo believers. That is a Pokemon Nouns would really like right now so they could help them rip those objectives down, get them very low so Gatlu could secure them. What this does for Tally Bobo believers is it puts Nouns Esports in an awkward spot. Now, if they do take Dodrio, they're already, Tally Bobo believers are already sitting on a solid counter for that pick. My big question is the tree is going to be into the equation, but Nouns Esports is one of the unique teams that can actually go like double tank and Blissey plays a great pseudo tank. Yeah, it absolutely could right now. The last pick from Nouns is going to be very, very interesting right here. They don't have a ton of objective rip. They don't have the ability to just chip something down like Garchomp, you know, with its basic attack. So we'll see what they use. Maybe they could bring out a Decidueye once again so that they have that secure and they have the rip. We're going to see what they want to do. Bringing out possibly once again the Delphox. Adesu's Delphox has looked incredibly solid, but I can't erase from my memory that De uh, Decidueye Penta. That looked so good, and to give me the warm and fuzzies, it's not, it's not the Delphox. It's the Decidueye. Yeah, absolutely. Toon Slim, however. Once again, on the Dodrio, that was a force to be reckoned with in this last match. Let's see if they have the answer for it here on the side of Nouns Esports. I'm not even sure they need a particular Pokemon to be the answer. They just need to pay attention. Just make sure you don't let Toon Slim be completely on their own for that long. It's difficult to pay attention to. It has three heads. You never know what it's up to. As we head in here to game number two of our bracket reset, Tally Bobo up one game. Toon Slim going to take the middle again. Maybe, big question mark. Yeah, they want level five, and I'm feeling it too. It looked real good last game. Yeah, absolutely here. They definitely want this Dodrio to get online because Toon was an absolute maniac on it. Adesu quickly trying to clear the middle. Geese as well, just softening up some of these targets. If the Cub Fu is to make it back, but Gatlu's caught on the backside again of an absolute beatdown. Buzzwell getting big, able to engage there. They're leashing it back to see if the Fennekin can chuck some damage in. They finally hit Brayson. That's the next level. That's one start to where they need to be, and that's the Delphox. Fox. Cub Fu now heading into the central area here, picking up a couple wild Pokemon that were left for them right there. Cub Fu just struggles a lot early inside of a match of Pokemon Unite. And we saw it struggle earlier as it gets KO'd. Nice move right there. We have Slowbro on the side of Tally Bobo Believers. And look at Toon Slim looking for that cup. They say, where has got Lou? <laughs> That's who they're hunting for, right? They want them. They're eyeing them down. There's three players here. Toon Slim's going to go for the back door. Engage. Drill Peck comes through. Geese is low. And they convert on the KO. Buzzle's trying to get the follow-up. Klaus, can you get it? Can you get it? <laughs> of course, it's service. Why not? Battle God's getting in the action. I can do damage, too, it says. Big Wicked Blow goes wide. No chance on that one. A little puff on top of them to deal some damage and a retreat. Toon Slim being chased out of the central area of Nouns right now. They doesn't would not want to eat that Wicked Blow. Looks like Oh, it's very possible. No, they were able to miss it right there. The eject button shoots them down. It looks like maybe they were going to readjust and attack Eldegoss. Yeah, and Klaus going for the engage. They picked them up. Big Wicked Blow comes through, but that is gobbled up in short order, saying that is not enough damage for me. Gatlu forced to sit back on their goal zone and take a different approach. Adesu looking for their level six right here, and that big blue buff giving some cooldown reduction to Delphox, one of the best things you can have on a Pokemon like that. It just needs a piece of experience, and it gets it. It evolves. That's where they needed it to be, and I'm glad it finally did. Lundru was there just to hang out and keep Nouns Esports honest. They may have even gotten a couple pieces of experience for themselves, but mainly it was about showing up.
And here we have big boosted attack being eaten by Toon right there. Got Lou trying to score right now on this goal. Get a quick stack, but it might not be making it home. A wicked blow, keeping it healthy enough to make it to the berry right now. Could be picked up, but that is enough. Big KO, level up. Absolutely, keep pushing forward, force them to chase you down. Take them away from where they want to be, which is deep into the path here. Woodhammer's coming out from Bruv. Tons of experience going there. Lundru and Megu looking good here, but Bruv on the tree is a work of art, and they're looking to paint another painting. Here we go. Three members now of Nouns Esports here in the bottom path. We actually have Delphox still moving through the central area, possibly going to the top path right here. Either way, it's going to be very, very late for this engagement. Reg Ice getting chipped up a little bit. The tree getting chipped up even more. They covered Bruv very easily. They did not let them get into a position to do big wood hammer stuns. Dodrio sealing it up. Toon Slim getting it. Of course, come on. What is going on? Yeah, Gotlu not able to secure with the wicked blow right there. He was there and just wasn't ready. A little too late right here. So we have a level nine buzzwool in this top path. Kid picked up, doing some damage to Adesu. It's fight two. The Unite move comes out, gets a big KO, fighting onto this point, still pushing onto Gotlu right here. Not able to pick them up as the wicked blow was charging. They're sending him back to goal and they're running back from this Mew. Zervis's Eldegoss is something different. Klaus when you re-engage and you know Zervis is saying, I'm almost there, I'm almost there, keep going, keep going, keep going. The fact that that buzzwool did not go down in the face of the Urshifu and Mew is absolutely wild. Toon Slim coming in like a shark in the water, looking to pick off its prey, and there it goes, looking for Adesu, trying to find it with the boost and trying to find it with the next big drill pack. No, misses both of them. The Jukes and the Woodhammer keeping it around. However, Trevenant is going to go down. Yeah, Lundru getting the KO on Bruv, who's just buying space as a good, good KO for them. They're all over these birds as they're just shooting pot shots at a distance, getting that experience. This score line is incredibly thin. As I say that, the Reggie Elect he hits and we've got opportunities for some overcaps. Big opportunities to score, big opportunities for stacks right here. Level-wise, things are going great for Tally Bobo. Score-wise, things are going great for Tally Bobo. You know, the last bracket didn't go well for Tally Bobo, but this one sure is. Lundru uses their Unite move. Can they take care of Gatlu on this Urshifu? They're putting the pressure on Megu and Zervis leading the charge, but here comes Toon Slim again with like a pincer maneuver trying to backdoor down Esports. Doesn't quite find their mark, so Tally Bobo believers retreats. There we go, 140 to 21 here at the halfway point of our match. 60's in a lot of trouble right here. Huge pickup from Klaus, that combo. Now that they're at level 11, they just get those huge resets on their moves. Amazing stuff. They're gonna continue pushing right here, right into the face of Nouns. Unite move into the Del Fox right here. They may have bitten off more than they can chew as they get taken down. Yeah. Klaus was in the back line looking to do work, but what did it do, Spraggles? We talk about time management. Tally Bobo Valiers forced them to take the buzz bolt so they could take the objective. They're moving through and they're getting their KOs back. Adesu's down, Gatlu's down. They said, you want the smoke? Well, you better see how good your lungs are. We're coming for you. Finding you coughing and wheezing right now. Toon Slim staying relentless on keys. As we see a Mew Unite in the top right corner of your screen there, they want this action. The goal zone is closed, and that's another KO for Lundaroo. Incredible stuff here from Tally Bobo. And you're right, sacrificing Buzzwool for the cause right there, saying you take the KO, we'll take the rest of them once Nouns comes down for this objective that we're going to secure. Looks great. Tune some of the good opportunity to just get some amount of points in. Little wood hammer, make sure that it's only one of those three scores that lands. But Klaus, again, left alone up. Yeah, Klaus already at level 12. Glaceon level 12. Uh, Dodrio level 12 on the side of Tally Bobo. Level wise, score wise, everything wise, they are up, up, up. This is looking great for Tally Bobo here at about the three minute 30 second mark. Huge buzz will unite, but it goes down to a wicked blow. Now our Shifu's coming in with a big unite move with their home, but they're not able to seal it up. Eldegoss almost living on one. They get it. Surplus comes through. Tons of damage gets reined in, forces Nouns Esports to finally retreat, but good. Good KOs for them in that particular exchange. Getting tuned there as well. Not a bad look. Now Z-Sports shrinking this experience lead. Yeah, I mean, look, getting this Reggie Alecki is nice. It was great that they were able to zone that out. But a level 13 KO is a huge KO. I mean, that gives so much catch-up experience to the side of Nouns Esports. If you're a lower level than the Pokemon you KO, you get so much value in Unite. That's why you have to be careful not to give up too many big KOs, or the enemy team is right back there. 
Yep, they still have a level lead here, three level 13s as they are moving down. The basement Reggie is a wrench ice and they are going to melt this thing. We have just under 40 seconds until Ray Quaze. It looks like Nouns Esports not concerning themselves with this reg ice right now. They're just letting it go down as they get all the experience on the map that they can find. They're looking for some big level break points here. We do have the level 13 on the Delphox, which is very nice. They would love to have Gotlu get their level here. And of course, it's United move you can see every time they KO one of these wild Pokemon their unite move charges up it is ready to go right now unite moves for every member here of Nouns Esports and every member here of Tally Bobo Believers five seconds until Ray Quaza makes its way to Thea Sky Ruins 200 points separate these two teams Nouns Esports trying to find a way and the engagement begins who can they get on top of though Zerbus peeling back Nouns Esports moving a collective unit they've already stuffed out Dune they're trying to find it here Glaceon Unite Lunder who's coming through. They got to deal tons of blitz assistance is big on the Gatler. Trevenant unite back the other way. Can they convert on this awesome unite move? They're trying to find it, but yes, that's two. Lunderu's down. Can they get Megu Zervis? And just poor Klaus is taking all the hammers, taking an absolute beatdown. Now Z Sports staying relentless. They're all over them, but Toon is back. Can they get into the mix and cause some damage? They're trying to line it up. They're trying to find Klaus. Megu doesn't make it out of day. She gets some nice drill pack, tons of damage. But they get chip shot it back the other way. It's up to Zervis to keep them standing. Nouns Esports bubbles out this entire squad. They are low on HP. Can they make some magic happen? Glaceon is coming back onto the map. Slowbro still has five seconds right now as they are pushing this fight, peeling off Rayquaza. Here we go. Buzz will try to make something happen. Picked up by the wicked blow there on Urshifu. Glaceon coming in, trying to take down the big tree right now as they are back onto Rayquaza, looking to get some type of secure. Dodria sneaking around back as this fight continues. Surf plus, Toons on the backside. They went and scored some more points. They have an opportunity for some good damage. Cotton Guard comes out. Lundaru, tons of damage on the Gatlu. Can they convert? KO streak of two for Lundaru. You tell who? That's the question. Drill Peck, little jump kick, scissor kick to the dome. It's Mew for the save. Can they make it happen? They're peeling to score. Tally Bobo Believers can take this Rayquaza off the map. Buzzwole cuts them off, but they're leaving this Rayquaza at low HP. They're forcing down Z Sports into the kitchen and saying, come deal with this. Hundo Burgers get and served up again. Forcing them in the kitchen and cooking indeed. Who let Tally Bobo cook as they're taking game number two from Nouns Esports in one of the longest Rayquaza fights I have ever seen. Yeah, that was two straight minutes of action and they roar it to the final buzzer. Tally Bobo believers win game two. But let's talk about game three because Nouns Esports, like we said before, back against the wall, they certainly know how to fight from this position. However, if they lose this one, Tally Bobo Believers are going to be your EU AOS Cup champions. That is right, and they have multiple games to give too. However, they don't want to do that. They are on a hot streak, and they are ready to shut this thing down. Urshifu banned out, Trevenant banned out, Tally Bobo giving them the possibility of taking Espeon right here. And we're going to have to see if that's something that Nouns wants or if they want to grab oop, the Hoopa. He says, give me the Hoopa. If it's available, I want it. You see Klaus shaking their head. Yep, we could have predicted that. <laughs> Slowbro insta-locked, of course, for the Tally Bobo Believers. They're on something with that Pokemon Lundaroo taking their Espeon. And here we go. The Dodrio possibly come out as this pick. They just can't keep giving it over to Toon Slim. No. It's been way too impactful in these games. No, possibly moving off of it right here. Got loose switching in, taking the bird. Bruv taking the Mr. Mime, their signature Pokemon. I love what Announce Esports is going for here. Gatlu also has a great Doe Trio. This isn't like we have to take it so Toon doesn't have it. This is a pick that Gatlu is very happy with. They've taken it in other positions and done great work. We've seen them get multiple player of the games on that Pokemon today. Now we're going to have to see what these two picks are. A very similar squad that we've seen through most of this for Tally Bobo. Sixies possibly pulling out the Talon Flame. We might have ourselves a bit of a bird composition right here. We've got the Decidueye. We've got the Talon Flame. Three birds for Nouns Esports. No birds for Tally Bobo. Oh uh, yeah, some uh, was it or ornithological? That's that's something. That's a word that I think means birds somewhere. But all that to be said, nouns are, are doing that.
get yeah. tons of birds. And we saw them use this exact composition to tons of success earlier. And a Daisu on the Decidueye. Let's see some of those big time spirit shackles. We've got the Charizard coming back out for Tally Bobo. We saw them play this earlier in the tournament. I don't think we've seen it at all against Nouns. Charizard, the benefit uh, of some recent buffs on this Pokemon. So we're going to have to see how that works out here in this game number three of our bracket reset. Nouns needs this. They need this to stay alive in this tournament. Yeah, for Toon Slim, I'm looking at the Charizard. We saw Charizard play earlier today. It has one of the fastest Unite recharge timers uh, in the game. Here we go, heading into game number three. Nouns Esports really needs a win right here. Tally Bobo Believers looking to become your AOS Cup champions. Tally Bobo Believers really, again, about they earned the crown in February. They didn't relinquish it in March, and I don't think they plan on doing it now. Yes, they're in the bracket reset, but they're up two games. Let's just close the door on this. Thing. Got a Desu here in this bottom half. Taking the long way around so we can get a stack on that attack weight early. Just going to make those spirit shackles deal even more damage right here. It's up in the top path. We've got ourselves a Talon Flame that's going to have to try to out secure a Buzzwall. Yeah, a Desu caught on the backside, but they do get the last hit on that and another stack. And now they're just going to try and leash these two players around. Yes, they get KO'd, but that's exactly what they expected. Stacks are important for them right now. In for stacks, that's what I always say. They really need those nice secure there by Bruv getting their level four. They are going to have their confusion right now. Toon, Slim, and Gotlu running into each other in this central area. Toon on the chase right now, hits with the flamethrower, gives them that burst of speed, but not able to chase Gotlu down as we might be fighting here in the bottom path right now. Toon really wants to get some of these. Megu gets poached by Gatlu though, but Gatlu's so low and the shot comes in from the Slowbro giving them a KO. Good work by Megu to buy time, find a KO for the team, and let Toon contest for the Swablu. I'm telling you, Megu's Slowbro is just a thing of beauty. They are so incredibly good with this Pokemon. Fighting up here in this top path. 60, see if they can do anything here to the Buzzwell. Buzzwell saying, no, I'm coming right back in. I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to set you down, and you'll, you'll wake up in the Pokemon Center. I mean, Buzzwell treating that Talon Flame like the bird from Dumb and Dumber. It is looking broken after that attack. Here we go. Gotlu up in our top path. Getting some experience right here as we have multiple members of Nouns possibly getting ready for the fight here in the center. But it looks like Talon needs to help in the bottom path as Tally Bobo is putting points on the board. No one's there to stop him. Gatlu wants these birds that do get a good crop of them. Are they going to engage on Toon, though? Toon's feeling very aggressive with their support squad around them. And Zervis, we know, has the ability to keep these players healthy and strong and fighting. Here we go. Bruv pushing forward here, getting Megu to peel back a little bit. Toon already level 7 right here, looking great. We've got a level 7 on our Decidueye as well, which means it has evolved. It does have that Spirit Shackle in the bottom path. Gotlu chasing this down. Toon coming right back in to see if it can pick up a KO right here. Gotlu in a lot of trouble, and it does get out. Sixy's coming back, though, for a nice pickup on that KO, secured by the Hoopa, who gets sent up into the air. Huge Spirit Shackle, and now Buzzwall's got to run here. Who was able to take this down. No, he slammed him down and sent him back home through the hyperspace hole. Come on. Yeah, Daisu pulling through, putting tons of pressure on, forcing Klaus to take both berries. But the hyperspace highway's back open, and we've got the basement Reggie here. Lundru's all over Bruv. They're half HP. They get snuffed by the surf. They're drowning a little bit. Forced to retreat. Bruv has tons of HP gone. They're going to blank out and catch the reset with the Hoopa Geese. Reggie Seal getting very low right here. We don't have incredible secure with the Spirit Shackle, but we do have a Talon Flame who takes to the sky right here. A little too early, secured there by the Slowbro. Once again, first Reggie taken by. By Megu. Why use abilities when you can just press B, Spraggles? They're getting it done. Megu seals up another objective. They've had a couple of those in this matchup only. And you know when you get one from Slowbro, you're like, okay, we didn't expect that, but we're happy we got you. Here we go, up to the top path right here. It looks like they might be keeping Bruv here in the bottom path. I don't know. He might want to weigh up there right now as we are fighting over Reggie Lecky, just being ripped apart here by now. It's big secure from the Spirit Shock. Yep, that's what they're using that for, is the secure. Gatlu going for the engage. They get picked up by Buzzwool, but they're able to make it to the Barry. Sixty's getting 30 points in. They're trying to collapse. Megu with the surf to, surf to cut them off. Lundru tries to get them with that big side shock. Doesn't quite get it. Zervis in the meanwhile, Sorting out a bird with three heads. Oh, huge spirit shackle there. And look, we've got Tally Bobo Believers on the run. Charizard, however, takes him up into the sky. Roast <laughs> two. Look, 
You serve birds after cooking them, and they are serving up meals out here. You talking about who's letting Tally Bobo cook? Well, right now, Toon Slim's in the kitchen. Once again, Toon Slim just with a dominant performance right there. Being chased, call an ambulance, but not for Toon right there, as they pick up a nice double KO with that Unite move. And as we talked about before, Charizard's Unite moves on a very low cooldown. All you got to do, head back, get some more wild Pokemon, and you'll have it for the next fight. Look at where Sixties and Gatlu are. They're putting pressure on Toon. They know they have an opportunity if they work together, if they take to the sky. But Toon says, I can fly too. And I'm on the chase. Fire Blast goes down just onto the objective, but the chase is on. Good cutoff by Bruv on that wall to make sure that Toon couldn't convert on more big KOs. We got the Hoopa with the Unite move, bringing Nouns Esports down to this bottom path. There's the slow beam on Gatlu. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to pick it up. Yes, they are. No! Runs out with their Unite move. Able to escape somehow. Charizard does have its Unite back up, however, so it's going to be able to take to the skies at any moment. Yeah, two great focus fire Unite moves from Tally Bobo Believers. They got an opportunity here. Mr. Mime is going deep. Bruv is Spirit Fingers and trying to get everybody's attention. KO by 60s on top of Toon. That's a good one to sort out as they go straight for a score, putting that thing at two. We're collapsing back onto the objective. Spirit Shackle from way downtown. Chunks and the Espeon catches the 60s. Can they convert onto a KO on the 60s? They do. Back the other way. Bruv laying in walls, trying to make magic happen. Resi Seal is literally walking to the team saying, you have to deal with me. That's why you're here, right? Here we go. Charizard up into the sky. Huge Spirit Shackle, able to take down the Espeon, but Charizard pushing forward. Right now, Nouns Esports scattering right here to make sure that this dragon can't breathe any more fire. I mean, the Registeel just getting leashed and leashed and leashed as Nouns Esports is going for this break to give themselves some sort of advantage in this bottom path, but the pressure's back the other way. Sixy's getting cooked up. Half HP, they have to reset. Registeel coming through, and finally, it looks like we might be focusing on this Registeel itself. Klaus is the buzzwall, but we haven't heard much from him. We see the big knock knock arrow, tons of damage to Registeel, doesn't close the door on anybody. Who's going to seal it up? Coming through is Sixies on top of the buzzwall, sealing the objective at the same time. Sixies. Picks up a big KO, picks up the objective, flies right to the center right here, taking out the birds, saying, I'm Big Bird, and this is not Sesame Street. Moving up to the top path here, Dodrio. Decidui, Talonflame, they're all just hanging out. I mean, birds of a feather, they flock together. Indeed, level experiences is kind of wonky here. Teleboba Believers have the biggest player, but the levels across now oh, esports looks a little cleaner as the Buzzle comes through, tries to get a KO, but it's Sixies reminding everyone that Talonflame can get it done, but just in time to get eaten up by who? Toon on the Charizard, who's eaten good when it comes to the birds. Back and forth, back and forth. Incredible stuff here from both teams. I love that using Talonflame's fly to negate all the damage from Buzzwell's second slam on that Unite move. That was really impressive. And then Toon decided to come up here and say, all right, enough of this stuff, okay? I got to KO you guys so you can leave. I've had enough of this nonsense. 30 seconds left until what could be the last Rayquaza of the AOS Cup. Tally Bobo Believers way behind on the scoreboard. However, they do have a level 14 Charizard in tune. Yeah, that's a huge, huge deal right here. Charizard actually hiding up in this top path. They know that Sixies could try to make a goal happen right here. They want to catch them. They do not have a Unite move, but they have enough to push them off the goal. And they're actually continuing this chase. Now it's Esports is not sure whether or not that Charizard has a Unite, but actually three members of Tally Bobo do not yet have their Unite moves. Yeah, and we see just those Spirit Shackles Adesu's just trying to find a target. They're trying to chunk them and force the Believers to reset. This Eldegoss is in pocket. They've got a good opportunity to withstand at least one of those and keep this battle roaring. But right now, we are posturing. Yeah, you can see they're using the tall grass just to try to figure out where everyone is on the side of Tally Bobo. Believers, Gotlu right here, finding the slow row, having to run away, worried a little bit about that slow beam. Charizard's Unite move now back up. So is Espeon's right here as another Spirit Shackle just flying. No, possibly a shot in the dark. Dark does not happen. Toon Slim into the air. Boom! Suplex from space, and they're trying to burn it down, but three players announce eSports converge. The Hoopy Unite is out. Geese is trying to push everybody three as we're watching Toon get back into the mix. Drake Quaze is so low. They're trying to melt it down. Who took it? Dodrio gets it. 
Yo, Trio gets it! Come on! Everybody's scrambling to score. Zervis is on the backside. They're going to the Tier 2 goal zone, but it's a Hundo Burgers going in for now in Z-Sports. Zervis ran past that Tier 1 goal. Obviously, someone from Tally Bobo was assuming that they would make it their way down to that bottom path. Not able to make it happen. Nouns continues to rain points in. 583 now to 49. Nouns is right back in this thing. Big KO on the slow bro. You know, whenever that happens. Let's see. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, there it was. They were just sitting on the goal zone, not moving anymore, realizing that their push to the goal zones was wonky and uncoordinated, that they didn't really have a chance here. So they kind of threw this one away. You had a game to give. They certainly gave this one up. Downs Esports coming back in a big way, winning by over 500. Take a look at that. Top and bottom tier one goals still there for Downs Esports. Tally Bobo believers get bird dip hard. <laughs> the Charizard coming through did great in the face of the birds, but no one else really did. Another flame sweep chips <laughs> into the wall for six seasons. No problem. I've done that. That's way the that too is many the times. Talon Flame Unite that we all run into. <laughs> right. Boy, I thought that was going to be good, and I went right into a wall. We are watching two of the best teams in the world in an absolute slugfest right now for this championship. Tally Bobo believers, your purple team. Nouns Esports, your orange team, as we head in here to game number four. We are in our pick and ban phase. And we've got Espeon and we've got Hoopa. Nouns really does not want Tally to pick up Hoopa. No, not at all. I'm looking at Tally Bobo. They're gonna lock in slow, bro. Nouns Esports gonna get some great options here. That Dodrio remains in the equation you have to ask is this slow bro always being first picked by the tally bobo believers going to be the recipe for success back to back quality picks don't let the glaceon go to the believers because you want to play that dotria yeah absolutely we can see tally bobo say all right well we're not going to give them glaceon and or shifu we're not going to give them that combo we did just lose out on our bird right here zervis quickly picking up that Eldegoss. They have just been so incredibly impactful with this Pokemon. Brub looking to possibly bring the tree out of retirement, well, out of being banned every game sure. by Tally Bobo here. Geese possibly bringing Comfey into the match, and they are. And it allows Tally Bobo Believers to get a late Mew, which I love that pick. You know, get yourself an Electro Ball to play into the face of Gatlu as the Dodrio. We're going to see where this last pick goes. We talked about Aegislash and its theoretical advantage into a Dodrio. And Tally Bobo Believers seem to agree. However, last time they did this to combat a Dodrio, they took that out. See, there's a little bit of a conversation happening on the side of Nouns Esports. Maybe they're deciding what counters this Aegislash best. Also, you know, they did such great work with Talonflame last game that it might just be the way to go for Nouns as they lock in that final pick. Again, we could be just a few moments away from the last game in the AO's Cup if Tally Bobo believers. But Nouns Esports, they want another one after this. That's right. If Nouns has anything to say about it, they are taking this all the way to a game number five, and they are winning this thing right here. Every single match is so important from this point out. Let's go! Klaus going to be that little cub food jumping right in the middle. We've seen it before. No surprises here. Of course, on Nouns Esports, the Dodrio going through the center so they can hit their level five as well. Yeah. Some great stuff here from both of these teams. I think this is a solid draft for both of them. I think one big X factor is going to be this Aegislash. We've seen it perform pretty well, especially in the hands of Toon, but not perform particularly well inside of this tournament as we are getting some early stacks on our sword. Yeah, decent engage there, but didn't quite get it. Question mark, they're going to see if there's a follow-up. No, Comfy can't get them in range to get the KO. Toon Slim still working. They want to stack some more. Nice big secures here by Toon Slim, and it looks like they might even possibly evolve here right now over to Dual Blade. A Desu level four, Bruv as well. Of course, Bruv wants to get to that Trevenant level five and really be able to lead the charge for a Desu so they can pop off and start raining in damage. Got Lou here in the top path, hiding in the tall grass, wearing that flower crown. As we can see, Urshifu also making it up right here. Nice big drill peck, pulls the wild Pokemon, but here comes Urshifu to clean this up. And it is a rapid strike, Urshifu able to get that KO in a quick 17 points, and the re-engage happens, they get a KO on Tune. The follow-up, is it there? That's the big question mark. They're locked out, locked in, and they pick up the KO. No follow-up on Ease just yet. 
Klaus still going deep, though, as there's another ride for the Comfy. Yeah, they were able to pick up the KO on the Aegislash right there, but getting KO'd themselves, definitely not worth it. Not a great exchange for Nouns Esports. Tally Bobo Believers do have a small experience advantage here as Gatlu is getting chunked real low. Rapid strike sorting it out, and they're going to get a collateral Geese KO here too. Zervis putting the pressure on, but intelligently letting Klaus get the KO so they can rack up some more experience. Incredible stuff. Already level eight in that top path. Nouns Esports in trouble early right here. And here comes the Aegis Slash. That entire time it was able to head to the central area, get all the experience it needed so it could put on a cape and a top hat. Something I want to point out, Lundru has been on these evolutions all day long, but one of their comfort picks and a gold badge Pokemon for them is in fact the Mew. So they have to be happy to get one of their favorite Pokemon to play. Got Lou in a lot of trouble right here, possibly being saved by the Comfy, but here comes Aegislash to see if they can shut it down, and they do, just putting so much pressure on this top path. They are going to do some work on this goal zone too. Adesu and Bruv need to make some magic happen in the bottom path, because it is not it in the top path right now. Got a level eight here for this Glaceon, so things seem to be going pretty well here for Nouns in this bottom path. We've got 10 seconds now until this bottom Reggie spawns. Talonflint is coming in to say hi. It's got a flame charge and a fly, so it can get out. Yeah, flying and dodging Electro Ball, not a bad look either. As now the basement Regice has hit the map. They're working through wood hammers come out, and there we're trying to move in. We have a Unite move Glaceon back the other way. Can they get the KO and get the Comfy hitched off the ride? They do. Oh, man, Klaus is big, but it's a massive fly. KO's three. Are you joking? The follow-up is happening on Lundru. They take the skies again, and that's a crash landing with the Comfy. Holy smokes. That's the best-looking Talon Flame with a hula hoop I've ever seen in my life. KO streak of four. Incredible stuff here for Nouns, and they are right back in this tune slim, stuck between a tree and a dodrio, a rock and a hard place, that hard place being bruv. They're trying to get out of this, running, using the boosted attack to possibly escape. Here comes the wide guard, and they're just doing everything they can to make it home, but I don't know, buddy. Uh, I, th I think you might be done here. Oh, yeah, finished indeed as the pressure continues. A nice wide guard there, but again, they're just burning time. If you're going to KO it anyways, smoothment out of Klaus as they get a nice, nice KO on a Daisu. Oh, Dodrio Unite, and they want to engage on Klaus. They want this KO. They're kind of schmooving out of the way, but the chase continues. They're hopping around. They're darting around. It's Fly. It's Sixies crash landing like a meteor right on top of Urshifu. Talonflame picking up another huge KO right there. This is payback for how bad the start of the match was going for Nouns Esports because they are cleaning up right here. Taking out the trash, that trash for them being Tally Bobo Believers, and nice fly to avoid the boosted there. Yeah, I mean, great look by Sixties. They are experienced on this talent plane, and they're using it in very unique ways, everything at their disposal to stay on top of this opposing squad. Klaus is United limited to just four hits. They're pushing forward. Bruv wood hammers through, but now they're catching the rest of the hits all the way up to 18. Can they get a couple more? No, wood hammers come out. They're stunned. Sixties looking for the engage. Can they take to the skies and get a KO? Dace uses their Unite move. They're trying to get the follow-up, but Toon gets the KO on them. Excuse me, Lundaroo gets the KO on them, and now they're surfing through. They've blocked stuff off six C's and they're gonna get this KO as well. KO streak of three says Lundroot. Can they get the fourth? Nah, Toon says, let me let me in on the action. Incredible fight here from Tally Bobo, and they are right back in this thing. After giving up a couple big fights moments ago, they take Reggie, they take three KOs, they do get taken out for it there, the Age of Slash, but now we have two seconds until we have a bottom Reggie spawning. Really, actually, no one ready for this one. We have two members, now three of Tally Bobo Believers, heading to that bottom path for Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock has appeared. Tally Bobos are definitely around, and they're doing tons of damage, half HP. We're gonna look for a prey here. That's a big Unite move coming through, they're going to put the pressure on. Who are they going to target for the KO? Is it Lundru? Nice slow beam by Megu. They try to lift them up. Can they get it done? They do. They sort out the objective. They take care of Gatlu and Geese. Meanwhile, Tally Bobo believers are trying to hold down this top goal zone. Six is on the backside. Big Wood Hammer comes out, but doesn't quite find its mark as they get at least a KO on Zervis and Tune here and close out that goal zone. Massive overcap in that top path right there for Nouns. Puts them back in the lead. Bruv in a lot of trouble right here, throwing out the wood hammers, but they are not going to make it home. Big double KO there for Klaus. 
This uh, Rapid Strike Urshi boot has looked very strong here. And look, they're just lowering these Swab Blue and Altaria for Klaus specifically. Sixy's going to score here. They're just saying, hey, I'm here and trying to leash the Tally Bobo Believers along. Yeah, now, I mean, something that Talon Flame can really do. Its mobility is just so incredible. You get head down to this bottom goal here if you wanted to. It also can just move through the central area, pick up a blue buff like it did, put a couple points on the board, and eh, maybe sneak back. I mean, look, if they're not watching it, they can make it another score happen. Megu just trying to get some wild Pokemon to gain some experience. Nice wide guard in the face of Bruv forces them to horn each away. But now Megu's getting sieged here. Glaceon United, they're doing the follow-up. They get poached by the Dodrio. Big drill pack. Tons of points going in. Trying to close this goal zone. Toon Slim pulls up with the smoke. They want the action. Can they get a couple KOs? No, they get KO'd themselves. A bird just snapping that sword like a plastic spoon. Just getting rid of it. Incredible stuff there from now. As soon as Toon landed, the goal was already gone. So good fight there. And they're able to pick up this Reggie Alecki. Things are going great for Nouns right now. 40 seconds until Ray spawns. Woo! -hoo. That was a big solar beam. That was a huge solar beam. Sixies just left on a sliver of health. So is Bruv. They're able to make it back with a clean reset. Nouns Esports up big on the scoreboard here. They just need to babysit these last two minutes and 20-ish seconds. They let the Reggie Alecki walk. We're going to have Talonflame move up to the top path and dunk another 50 points right here. Yes, they are. We do have Reggie Steele on the bottom path. And it looks like Tally Bobo is actually looking for it here. They recognize they're way behind on points. The only thing they can do is win a huge fight right here. 162, 389. They secure that Reggie Steele. So they're going to be stronger attack-wise as they head into this fight. Trevenant getting pushed back a little bit right here. They're finding their push. It is in. And they are moving. Yeah, but they're getting flanked here. Here comes Sixties. They want the engage. They take this guys and actually bait out and retreat. Rub Heels back as well with their Horn Leech. Tally Bobo believes they're looking for engagement. They found one. They KO'd Bruv in short order. Now they have the engagement across the board. Big Flame Sweep comes through, puts them in a mix. The Lundru gets a KO. Two players for Nouns down. Can they find another one? The movement is real with Klaus as they want to target down Gatlu. Gatlu eats an Electro Ball, but they're trying to get on Lundru, forcing out their Unite move. Adesu is peeling down to the center. And can they make it happen? They're coming in. Can they use this Icy win? Gatlu engages again, but they are getting so low. No way. Kofi Unite keeps them up. They're moving back to the middle. Rick Waze is getting melted. Who's going to take this thing down? Hit service, hit service, hit service. Now we're on the scramble score. They're up by 220. They need to get these points and their shields are getting melted. Service doesn't have anything in the tank. They're going to get KO'd. Tally Bobo Believers got Ray Quaza, but the points are going in the other way. 332, 389. This is not over, even though they did not secure Ray Quaza, but more points are going in for Tally Bobo as they run towards this central area. Now it's Esports scoring in the main base. We've got Dodrio, we've got Kofi. Kofi not able to score right here, but Dodrio puts a ton of points in right now. 43 seconds left, though. If Gotlu does not make it home, this could be very bad for Nouns Esports. We are running from this Mew, the eject button to chase, as we have Klaus with more points looking to score. They are still behind. They need to make this happen. 382, 549, 25 seconds left on the clock. Tally Bobo believers are trying to shut this down right now as four members of Tally Bobo move towards this bottom goal. They are trying to get points and ensure where this lead is shrinking, but it's still over 100. Place down Unite. They're going to be able to shell in a ton of damage. Wideguard tries to make it happen. Slow Beam comes through. Tally Bobo believers are sieging. They got 68, but they need about 110. The scramble to score. If this goes in, that can make it happen, but they. Oh, oh, oh it went whoa. in. 30 to 24 from the Urshifu. How are you close kidding is me? this? Are you kidding me? This could be we our AO's Cup. This could be our AO's Cup. Now in Z Sports, Tally Bobo. If Tally takes this, they win right now. Now oh, he's losing oh Tally God. Bobo wins oh the AOS Cup! God. They take it in commanding fashion with a last second score! Your AOS Cup champions, Tally Bobo Believers! Gee, gosh, what, what is that? I Come mean, on, 200 point differential. They take Rayquaz in a big way. Service nonetheless. The Eldegoss sealing it up, but the tidal wave came back immediately the other way crashing on their